Imagine walking past a bustling construction site, and instead of workers with construction hats pouring cement and tying rebar, it's teeming with robots. Hundreds of transport bots delivering materials, aerial drones hoisting beams, and autonomous bots stacking bricks. It might sound like science fiction, but for researchers involved in the emerging field of a collective robotic construction, it's a real possibility, and perhaps a necessity. The world's population is on the rise, and so is the demand for housing, especially in urban areas. 54% of people today live in urban areas, a number expected to jump to 66% by 2050. And meeting housing demand has a human cost. 20% of all work-related injuries every year in the U.S. occur on construction sites. Researchers believe that in the coming decades, collective robotic construction will be able to step in to meet the increasing demand for housing, while at the same time keeping human workers out of harm's way. And as humanity expands its reach out into the solar system, robotic construction could play a critical part in building habitats for humans in extraterrestrial environments. One big question in collective robotic construction is how will the bots work together? Will they behave more like animals or people? In nature, collective construction is used for building nests, dams, even bridges. Termites construct and maintain nests built entirely out of their own feces, laced with pheromones. One termite leaves a pheromone in the wall. When another termite smells that special smell, it adds more wall and its own pheromone trace. This feedback loop encourages higher and higher builds. These robots act much in the same way, detecting each other's work and building upon it. But no need for feces or pheromones. And these bots communicate with each other to construct a model building determining both their current status and the next step in the construction sequence. These robots specialize in coordinating in air and on land. The arms stay in place while the drone weaves back and forth. Onboard sensors let the arms and drones communicate next steps and hand off the fibers. This robot is inspired by Beaver's ability to repair their own dams. It makes decisions about changing its environment all on its own. Here, it builds itself a ramp in a simulated disaster zone full of rubble. The termite or beaver-like builder bots have a few built-in instructions, but no central controller guiding them step by step. In the human world, there's usually a person in charge, overseeing shipments, worker safety, and schedules. Centralized approaches to collective construction are also being developed, which would rely on a central controller orchestrating everything in real time issuing orders to worker bots and planning all motion paths to avoid collisions. Or a worked out plan issued to the whole robotic team all at once. Even on a nanoscale, sometimes there needs to be a plan. These agile, self-assembling nanobots zipping back and forth are all operated using a central controller, which supplies the robots with exact instructions. Would you use a robot to build a beaver dam? Well, it might be good practice for the bots, the types of structures that robots will be building in the future might look very different from today's buildings. Just like human architects and designers, plans designed to be robot built will have to consider the building's function and comfortable human occupancy. But the types of building techniques they can access will differ and incorporate other kinds of efficiencies. Computer simulations like these are already being used to determine the most efficient ways to build structures with bots. These simulations can be used to issue instructions to robots like these from earlier, which are able to carry, climb, and stack panels to build a simple structure. The robot-constructed buildings of the future might not only have unique forms, they may also be made of very different materials. Future robotic construction crews could fabricate buildings using locally sourced materials, mined or spun, and then build based on the parameters of the available materials and the lay of the land. Or the structures could adapt continuously, like in this example, a sunshade made of prefabricated panels and aerial drones that changes shape throughout the day. These robotic lattice structures have plants growing in between the braids. In the future, with the help of genetic engineering, the leaves could act as sensors to alert us to toxins in our environment. While the current technology is definitely impressive, there's still a long way to go before our cityscapes are bot built. There are still significant strides to be made in robot autonomy, perception, and design. There's also the question of what level of interaction will humans have with robots in an automated construction environment. 
and how will humanity adapt to the economic impact of thousands of construction jobs lost to robot labor. That being said, collective robotic construction has the potential to change the way humans approach building forever. Advances in learning algorithms and smart building materials could allow us to tailor structures to their environments, minimizing local impact. Take building a dam, for example, which usually entails surveying the land, a massive excavation phase, and then an equally massive construction phase. Using robots, all of these steps can be done at once. Worker bots could survey the site, excavate, and pour concrete, all simultaneously, leaving a minimal environmental footprint at a much faster pace. And we can't forget about the final frontier. Robots could be used to build habitats in extraterrestrial environments, deployed years ahead of a crewed mission to, say, Mars, to construct living quarters using the Martian soil surrounding the landing site. The possibilities are limited only by our own imaginations. Maybe the robots of the future won't dream of just electric sheep, but concrete and rebar as well. Thank you.